Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can tame the dreaded Windows 10 start screen. So how do we do it? We're going to use our start screen manager program. So you can see we've already got three groups that are here in the Windows 10 start screen. We're going to create our own called our important apps. What are we going to add there? We're going to add maybe Acrobat Reader, maybe add the calculator and also add a, an edge tile. So we'll see how to do that. Over here on our GPMC, this is our East Sales users. We'll go ahead and create a new group policy object here. We'll call this PPSSM uh, East Sales User Demo. Okay. We'll right click over our East Sales users and click Edit. Now, what we're doing is on the user side, you could also do what we're about to explain also on the computer side. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this here on the user side and go to the Start Screen Manager and right click add a new collection. Now a collection is where the groups are going to be contained. You have to make an important decision here and I'm going to show you both. Partial will preserve what's currently there. We're going to start off with that and then later I'm going to show you how you can replace what's already on the on, on the endpoint. Let's start off with partial preserve. I'll show you what this looks like here. So inside this collection we're going to add a new group. This is the name of the actual group that's going to show up on the Windows 10 start screen menu. So we'll call this My Important Apps. I'm not going to worry too much about these extra options for now. I'll just go ahead and click OK. Inside here, now we're going to add our icons. We'll start off with the desktop application tile. This machine, the machine I happen to be on, it's uh, the GPMC running on server 2016. It has an application on it that you know and love, and that's Acrobat Reader. So I have the same version of the application on my endpoint that I do here. That makes it easy. I can just point and click my way to uh, selecting it. And then I can pick what tile size. Desktop apps have two tile sizes and the Windows Universal apps have four tile sizes. I'm going to go ahead and pick medium and I'll call this, uh, call it Acro Reader Tile. doesn't matter what that's called. It's just the policy name. And boom, we've created our first entry. So we've got the collection, the group, and our entry. Next we'll do is our we'll add a universal application tile. So for instance, this is the big metro style applications, Windows Universal applications. I'll click next, but you know, I'm on a server machine and a server machine doesn't have Windows Universal apps on it. So we don't get a complete list. But what you can do is you can import from an XML file from a machine that you know and love. In fact, I've already done this. I have my export from my Windows 10 machine. So all my custom apps and all the built-in apps and all the Windows Universal apps that are on my are that are already on my machine over here I've already got ready to go and uh, I can pick from them here so I'm gonna go ahead and pick calculator let me go ahead and sort by the name here and find calculator there we go there's calculator and click next and I'll make this big calc so I'll go ahead and choose the large and I'll call this uh, big calc and then the last thing I'll do is I'll create a new edge tile and my edge tile will let me give it a name I'll call this uh, get policy pack help and then the URL can be say HTTPS www.policypack.com there we go and click next and I can make this a wide tile you can also change the desktop background colors if you're so inclined and all that sort of thing I'm just gonna leave the defaults here so I've got a wide tile here click next and I'll call this get help for PP website and that's it I've created three entries let's go over to our endpoint Let's, let me show you the before picture. I've got the three built-in groups from Microsoft. Now we'll go ahead and go to a command prompt and run GP update. In this demonstration, you're seeing me use group policy to do the work, uh, but you don't have to. You could use SCCM, you can use an MDM service, or anything else you use to deploy uh, policy, either on-prem or cloud service. I just happen to be using group policy in this demonstration. Let me go ahead and close out the GP uh, update window here. And now it's time to check it out. If we click on the start, button here. Boom. Here we go. My important apps. You can see the little lock icon designating that if you were to try to drag in something over here, it's a locked group. Now we call this partial mode. Partial lets users move things around. You can see I'm doing this. I'm letting users do whatever they want in their playground, but they can't screw up my playground, right? They can't unpin it. They can't move stuff in. So it's just as simple as that. That's the first thing I wanted to show. The second thing is 
what if you don't want these built-in groups at all and you don't want any users to mess with any of the groups that they that they have? Well, that's called full mode. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Oh, actually, you know what I didn't do? I didn't click on all these icons just to prove a point, just to show that they that they are working just the way you would expect here. So I'll click on that guy. That guy's fine. I'll go ahead and click on calculator. That guy's fine. I'll go ahead and click on policy pack help. And that guy's fine. So we've deployed all three icons right to the start menu, just the way we would expect. So again, for the next trick, what we want to do is to say, let's get rid of all the, the default stuff and also anything that a user might have done up until this point. And that's called full mode. So we'll go back to the collection we created earlier here. We'll right click and we'll edit the collection and we'll change this to full replace mode. Default and user created groups are removed. Users prevent prevented from making changes to your defined groups. Only groups created by policy pack will remain. And when that's it, this is not reversible. So we throw up a warning just to make sure you understand that this is not reversible. All the stuff created by the user and the operating system defaults will be deleted. Let's go ahead and see the result of that. So let me show you the before picture. We've got all four groups. Then we'll go to a command prompt. We'll run GP update. And all this will take effect also at next logon and also in the background. I just happen to be running GP update to make things go a little bit faster here. Go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and close out this window here. We'll go over to the start menu and boom, just our important apps. Users can no longer create groups and they can't mess with the groups you've set down. They can't drag icons in and so on. It's just the way you would expect. Now, what if you wanted to add something new? It couldn't be easier. You just go back to your um, group here. You can right click, add a new, say, desktop application tile, registered application. I happen to have Chrome on this machine here. So I'll go ahead and find Google Chrome and click next. And I'll make it a medium tile. And we will say, call this the Chrome icon. And that's it. So boom, 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 boom. We've got all four guys in here. Let's show you the before picture. Okay, got this little before picture. Let's go ahead and run GP update one last time here. We'll go ahead and see this take effect. Go ahead and let this finish. Close this out. And now let's see the after picture. And just like that, you've added Chrome to your start menu. You can use your software deployment tool to deploy it and use policy pack. Start Screen Manager to get the icon right where you want to in the right group of your choice. Postback Start Screen Manager is a real game changer. Continue to watch the other videos to see how you can do some interesting other magic tricks like pin things to the taskbar and also get this stuff deployed using Policy Pack Cloud and your MDM service. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you soon.